special delivery grill. All right, we got some stuff from some garage sales, some thrift stores. Our delivery boy brought it all in for us, and we'll show you what we found. Looks like an awful lot here, honey. It does. It does look like an awful lot. I'll try to be quick. Hopefully, we're going to start making some money here. Yeah. Sales have been pretty slow this past month. All right, so I'm starting right off the bat with something very different, something interesting, I guess. I had no idea what this is. Frank, do you know what this is? That? Yeah. What is this? Looks like a handle to a saw, but there's no place for a blade. Is it a tool of some sort? I mean, it's obviously a tool. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Looks handmade. But it's got, it's got... How'd okay. you know to look it up? Right there. See? Ah. What is it? A Nolvex 1207, 1207. Oh, the 12, yeah, the 1207. You definitely got to have the 1207. Yes. It can't be the 1206. You got to use the 1207. So what is it? So I guess it's a metal file rasp. Rasp. Have you ever heard of that? No. I don't know what that is either. But I looked it up. I, I searched that Nolvex 1207 um, tool, whatever. None listed right now, no soul comps, but I checked worth point. And this little guy, this little guy goes anywhere between 150 or $50 and 140. So 140, 140 $50 bucks, to 140? Yeah, there, it's kind of all over the place, but like I said, there's none listed right now. So we'll probably try listing it 150 or so, maybe a little higher. <laughs> you sure about that? Yep. Uh, it's got pictures and everything. I got to start making these. But I found that at the Goodwill bins and almost didn't pick it up, but I'm glad I did. Got these at a church sale that Frank and Frankie and I went to on Saturday. These are 7-Eleven um, plastic hand uh, cup drink holders, I guess, um, vintage. And there was some that sold uh, a pair of two of them. They had them listed for $40 and they took an offer. Um, there's some listed right now for, uh, I think a set of six of them listed for $100. So I got these for a dollar. So that's two things now that have been at least $50 in value or more. Right. So you're on a good start here, honey. <laughs> It's uh, that's a good that's a good recovery from us playing all month. Yeah, we're off to a good and not start. Not working yeah. very much. I mean, we've been doing listings, but we haven't really been listing very good stuff. Yeah, we've been kind of limping along. We here. haven't really done any extra listing. Got some shoes, and I normally do not like picking shoes up. I do not like selling shoes. I am very excited that you found shoes because yes. I've been bugging you that we yes. should probably start selling shoes. I found more. some shoes. I found these at a Goodwill. Six dollars for each pair. These are New Balance, made in USA. Uh, Sue, what's it? Susan Coleman, the breast cancer um, awareness there with the 993, I guess, is the the model there. Um, these ones go for 45 to 65 dollars. Um, good size. I think they're a size nine. Need to be cleaned up a little bit, but overall, really good condition. And then these ones, I never never heard of this brand before, but they looked, you know, really well made. They look nice. Kizik, I guess. And it took me a minute to find these. There's a model number in there. Um, and I think I did a Google search that helped me find these a little bit easier. And these ones, there's sold comps between $55 and $85. And again, these are in really good condition. They might have been worn once. Got some more shoes I found at Goodwill. These sandals I uh, got for $6 each. They're Easy Spirits. And uh, there's a um, model name in there and everything. And I could not find these, but looking at them, um, they look barely worn. They look really comfortable. I tried them on, they're a little bit too big for me. <laughs> they're very comfortable. You know, Easy Spirit is a good good name, not necessarily huge for reselling, but you know, it's a, it's a good brand and everything. These ones I couldn't find on eBay, but new. They're selling for um, $90 regular price on sale for 45 right now on Macy's. <laughs> so even if I, we're to hold on to them till like next summer if they're not making these ones anymore. I got this at a church sale, a sealed game for $2. Uh, wavelength, I don't know, um, sells for about 30 bucks. Frank found a backgammon set at a garage sale, paid $5 for it. Uh, a set like this could go for about 20 bucks or so if you want to sell just the oh, parts. Oh, it goes for $20 now. That's not what you were saying when I bought it. I mean, comps are kind of all over the place. <laughs> she, of, okay, hold on, everybody. I want to document this in this. She yelled at me for buying this. Well, that, I, I don't, she didn't yell at me, but she kind of got upset with me when I bought this. And I've seen like a ton of other people in videos buy these and sell them. Even the parts in them sell 
I, I think for about 15, 20 bucks, you can yeah. sell the little chips in there. And she's like, why did you get that? That's not worth anything. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's like a common thing that everybody always gets and sells. And I'm like, you better check your comps. She goes, I check comps. And it's like 10 bucks. <laughs> and you bought it for five. And now, now you guys heard it firsthand. She said $20. I did find a similar <laughs> one that sold for $20. Um, it seems like the ones that might sell for like more are ones that actually have a brand name attached to them and they're, you know, vintage and that. There's no um, brand name. It's, it's, it's nice though. This. It's leather bound and everything. Yeah. It's, you know. And then if you want to sell the parts, I mean, if you sell the cup and like the dice, you can get 15 bucks for those. If you sell the chips, I was seeing people selling um, one of each color chips or two chips for $6. I don't know if that's what they're Yeah, we're not, we're not going to ping on them that right. long to go through. We're just, but we're going to get rid of them. The quick. parts sell really well too. I got a bag of vintage goodie combs at a garage sale for a dollar. These are a couple of the ones out of the bag. The other ones weren't branded. Um, for example, some of these can sell for about 20 bucks. These vintage um, goodie brand combs and picks like this, you know, these two went for about 20 or $25. Some of them taken offers or you can just lot them up and they go really well that way. But um, look out for uh, goodie brand combs and like hair accessories and that the vintage ones. This was actually uh, a church sale. It was the second church sale we went to. Yep. First one we went to, I should have got footage. I actually had the camera in my hand and I never pushed record. Mm -hmm. The prices were absolutely ridiculous for a church sale. I mean, for any kind of sale. I mean, I, they had like these boxes of records, like no name records for $5 each. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they had, um, one of them, I, man, I forgot what they're called, but the, the chin-up bars that go in your doorway, it was the name brand. It was brand new, but they, they had like written on the box, like new $60, and they had it priced for 30, and I think they were going on eBay for like $25 or 30 yeah. of that. I'm like, where are you coming up with these numbers? It was just, it, yeah, we, we were there like maybe five minutes, if that, and Janelle's actually got a funny story about that sale, because it did work out for us actually a little bit. It made it worth our while. Mm -hmm. But uh, the second church sale we went to, uh, I saw this faucet, it was brand new, they had, um, th this wasn't, I don't think it was actually for the church, was it? This I, was, they no, had, it was. They had um, a bunch of people selling their things like outside in their parking lot, but then everything that they sold, the money did go to the church. Okay, yeah. But yeah, they had a brand new uh, faucet there for $7. I comped it out, I think, what was it? 30 bucks. 30 bucks, 25, yeah. 30 bucks. So we sold a brand new faucets before that we did, uh, not a ton, We've done a couple um, retail arbitrage. We found mm -hmm. them on clearance at Home Depot and they actually went pretty good. So I thought maybe we could uh, repeat that with this. This was that same church sale, the outdoor one, um, 50 cents for digital timer here. Nothing, you know, nothing great, whatever, but it goes for 15 bucks or so. I found this for $5. It's a little personal air purifier, I think. I haven't really looked into it much. The most I looked into it is when I comped it, it was coming up like 50 to $75 pre-owned and this looks like it maybe it was used once if that um it's got like a little usb cord i gotta look into it i haven't even tested it yet i asked her how much she said five dollars i'm like sold here's your five bucks and i walked yeah. away but uh Great deal. I, like I, said, I still don't even know why it's worth that much if it's just a little tiny thing that i don't know we'll we'll see another find at that outdoor church sale this little baby lovey i got for two dollars the brand is tiddlywinks and there's none of these listed right now but there was two solds for this one between 28 and 32 dollars so that church sale frank was talking about that you know, had the high prices and everything. You you never know. You they'll miss some things that you know are still still can be worth quite a bit that they just have no idea about. And of course, I had to find a plush. This is by Eden, and it's from the book The Snowman. And there's some spots on it, but this this stuffed animal can go between forty five and seventy five dollars if it's considered new. Between forty five and seventy five dollars, I bought it for one dollar. That's where Janelle has the patience. Like I walked in there and I saw the first like three, four tables with their prices and I'm like, let's go, we're out of here, wasting our time. It's like, no, no, hold on, let me let me look at some stuff. And then by the fifth table, I'm grabbing her and I'm like, all right, it's time to go. And she's like, I found something, we're, we're okay, it's, mm -hmm. it's worth our time here. I'm like, okay, and that's where she told me about that. Um, There's a couple other things I already showed you that I got at that sale as well. The sealed game I got for two bucks, and then those 7-Eleven drink holders I got there as well for, for a dollar. So I still found some things there that they you know, didn't know about, even though they're trying to sell records for five dollars. This is something that's a little surprising. These little Pringles containers, these little snack containers, um, my brother used to have these back in the 90s. This was in a free box and these, these little things, these Pringles um, branded little cups here, 
can go between 15 and 20 bucks. That same sale I got the air purifier at, uh, I bought some shoes. <laughs> I saw these shoes, I walked by them, and the guy goes, oh, the shoes are only $2 each if you're interested. And I don't know, I just kind of brushed them off. And then a little light bulb went in my head and I said, you know what, them shoes looked pretty new and they didn't look like they've been worn. And I've been harassing Janelle to get some shoes to diversify our listings a little bit. Like maybe I should go back and get them. So I said for $2 each, I might as well get them. So I got them. Um, these purple ones go for what, 30 bucks roughly? 20 bucks. 20, 20 bucks. So bucks. yeah, about $20. And these ones go for about 30. So even even if I list them for $20 each, whatever, for $2 each, I don't care what we get for them. Yeah. I mean, so. Oh, sure. And there's, yeah, again, there's no cleaning at all. So no no fancy work done on them. Just get them listed and get them out the door. This was another item out of a free pile. And Frank looked at it and he's like, what is that? It that? looked like a barf bucket, with, except it's got the <laughs> slots in there. Except it's something. got holes, yeah. This is a uh, sink strainer, uh, corner sink strainer, and it's Rubbermaid. And sometimes Rubbermaid can be good if it's, you know, vintage or whatever. Uh, none listed are sold right now, but I checked Worth Point, and similar ones sold for $25. Found these two singamajigs at a garage sale. Got them both for a dollar, I think, 50 cents each or so. And they go for about $18 each. And then funny thing is we just sold a singamajig, the same one I found, and sold for 18 or 20 bucks, I believe. I think that's like the second or third one you've sold in the past couple weeks, actually. I don't know why they sell so much. They You move them every time. Yes, yeah, we get them pretty cheap. I mean, they usually always work and they always sell. If you've been watching our recent videos, you'll recognize this. We've had these before and they never sold. Ones like this. I think they did. Yeah, they did. Did they? Pedometers? We had MP3 players. No, them about? sold. Yeah. Them were good sales, actually. That's a surprise. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we sold some pedometers. They're not up there. We'll see. We'll see who's right. Watch our what solds and see who's right. <laughs> Stay tuned. This item that sold, we sold our Amron pedometer here that Frank wasn't sure we would sell. We got it for a dollar and it sold for $20. How long was that listed for? A day or two. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll shut up. Yeah. Found a jelly cat elephant with the tag, paid 50 cents for this one, and there was a similar sold comp, but different color. Uh, it was a pink one that sold for $22. Got another sealed board game here, a Star Wars Trivial Pursuit, uh, sealed. Bought it for $2, and this one goes for about 50 bucks. I was pretty surprised to still see this sitting on the shelf when I got to it. It was at a neighborhood sale and there was you know, plenty of people around and I was kind of scared to ask her how much it was. I was thinking she'd maybe say 10 bucks or you know, whatever being new, but she said, oh, that's new, that'll be $2. I'm like, okay. I remember these little guys from the, the 90s, these little uh, cushy coos, I think they're called, little koosh ball uh, babies. Got these in a box of stuff I was digging through. It was like fill a, fill one of those paper lunch bags for 50 cents, I think it was. I got a bunch of little things. And each one of these can go for about $12 or so. That same garage sale, I found those cushy coos in, in the box that I was digging through for 50 cents for everything. I found some Lisa Frank pencils with the erasers. One of them is used. Um, the, a, a lot of three of these similar to this went for about 10 bucks. Sometimes if it's not worth a lot, you know, if this is only worth $10 or so, I'll, I'll get a bunch of Lisa Frank stuff together and just lot it all up for, you know, and get a little bit more out of it. Maybe if we find another organizer, $300, $200 organizer, we can throw in a free pencil. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I didn't look up these individual erasers. I don't know if any of these are worth more or not, but I just looked for the pencils with the erasers and a lot of three went for 10 bucks. Found another pair of shoes at a garage sale. Um, Lacoste, is that how you say it? <laughs> Wedge sandals, um, paid a dollar for these. Couldn't find these specific ones, but similar, um, you know, Wedge shoes by this brand go for 30 bucks or so. Found a bunch of filters. We got some water filters I paid $2 each for, and they go for about 18 to $20 each. And then this one is a, um, a replacement filter for a cordless hand vac. Paid 75 cents for that, and that goes for about $20. Filters can be good things to sell. Um, they're hit and miss though. A lot of times they can be slow movers depending on the filter and what it goes to. There was actually a set of six water filters I saw at one of the church sales we went to, and it was kind of weird. They were sealed, they were in a box, and it, it kind of would have been a good buy. It would have been good 
profit. I mean, I think they wanted like five bucks for them and they were camping out for $25, I think even 30 bucks for the box. Mm -hmm. The thing that was weird about them, I like the box or the packaging, like smelled. It had like a, a stench to it. Hmm. And I wasn't about to take that home. Well, first I wasn't about to put it in our shed. Yeah. I, I couldn't describe the stench. It was weird. I don't know. I just... Yeah, I, I just we pay, I passed on them, yeah. but yeah, I mean, I got I got the water filters for two bucks each, the vacuum filter for seventy five cents, so good deals. Found this at the Goodwill bins. It's a vintage nineteen eighty eight uh, Dakin uh, pull down musical crib toy. It's a dog. None listed or sold comps right now for this one, but on Worth Point, it's sold for it's sold for forty bucks. I've heard other uh, YouTubers and resellers talk about Littlest Pet Shop, and I've never really gotten into it. Um, but I saw a bag of seven, I think, here for a dollar. I picked it up for a buck. I figured I can keep them to lot them up, you know, with more as I find them along the way or whatever. Um, similar uh, lots to this, you know, seven of them have sold between 10 to 12 or 13 dollars. So, yeah, we'll see if I got anything rare. Found a couple of ornaments at a garage sale. A uh, lady had them priced at five dollars each, and she said, oh, I'll take less for those. I'll, ta I'll take three dollars each for them. I didn't even have to ask. She just automatically gave me less for them. She said they're still new in the box. I looked, and they're still in the their plastic, um, you know, molding around there. The honeymooners, and then John Denver. John Denver goes for about forty bucks. This one I can't really find a lot of sold comps on it right now, but I remember we've sold this one before, and I can't remember how much for. But um, I think there's some listed for between thirty and forty dollars right now for this one. A vintage uh, Samsonite Amoeba game. Uh, I didn't know Samsonite made games, um, but I still got to make sure all the pieces are in there. I found this at a rummage sale, paid I think a dollar fifty cents or a dollar for it, and it's gone for fifty dollars. That same church sale, I found another game here, paid that fifty cents or a dollar. It says on there some missing pieces, but. I opened it and looked through it and it seems like they're all there. I'll go through it again, you know, when I go to list it just to make sure. But this game, if it's complete, has gone for about $70. I got a Weber charcoal grill and some utensils. Uh, they actually are from Uline. Looks like it might've been a promotional thing. Uline, we've bought stuff from Uline for boxes and that. They never given us utensils. <laughs> she wanted $20 for the grill and $5 for the utensils. Um, I didn't need a grill. This grill was going for, I think, 35 to 40 on eBay. Yeah. I wasn't really thinking reselling. I was more thinking for us. We picked up a little charcoal grill like this recently. It was a cheap one, because mm -hmm. we're not going to use it that often, just camping and such. And I saw this one, I'm like, oh, Weber, that's a lot better than the one we got. Right. And the one we got now is fine. I, I didn't really want to get it, you know, and, and resell value wasn't that high for this large of an item to sit or whatever. So I, I told her, hey, you know, it's a great price. You, you got this for a great price. I'm not, I got no problem with the price, but it's the fact that I don't need it that bad. But if you want to get rid of it that bad, I'll buy both things for 20 bucks. And the one guy in the garage goes, sure. And then she goes, no, but that's brand new. And he goes, nope, get rid of it. I don't want to bring it back in. So in our yep. car, it went. <laughs> so I'm going to list, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually going to list this. Uh, mm -hmm. Or actually, Janelle's probably going to list this. Mm -hmm. But we're going to list it. And I'll list it high, for, or she'll list it high. For, we'll, we'll go for 40 and if we don't get any uh, interest on it and it doesn't move, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this and put it together and get rid of our cheap one. I got this at the neighborhood sale I went to for $10, still new in the box, a VTech um, playset here. And there was some sold comps where it sold for $120 brand new in the box. And then there's some listed right now for $140 plus shipping. So I figure even if we can sell it for $100 plus shipping, that, that should, be, should be a pretty good deal. We might even be able to sell it locally. And being it's already in a box, that'll be easy to ship. I mean, I, I take that back. It, it won't be easy to ship, but it, it'll be simple. It'll, I'll have to wrap some cardboard around it and make shift a box for that. And then it'll go UPS ground. Obviously, if it was a $50 item, I'd be like, Janelle, why did you get this? But I mean, what, she paid 10 bucks for it and we're gonna make 140 bucks? I can find some room for this for a little bit and I can deal with shipping it. This is pretty cool. Uh, Janelle says she comped this, but she kept walking after. I comped it, but I said I was gonna come back to Frank and tell him about it and ask him about it because I wasn't, the people were right there, right across well, the table. In her, in her defense, there wasn't a lot of markup on this, but it's really, it'll be a cool flip though. It'll be cool to say that I flipped this. Yeah. Or that we flipped this, I should say. It's a Flintstones bedrock thing. 
It's pretty neat. The elementary school. They wanted 25 for it, and unfortunately, I did pay 25 for it. I mm -hmm. should have asked if uh, they'd take 20. Yeah. And they, they knew how much it was worth. They, they said it goes for quite a bit online. Uh, I think I think they actually said it goes for 40 online. Is that what they said? 40 or 50. Yeah. I found comps for 50 to 75 online for it, mm -hmm. sold comps. <laughs> um, but I did I did sit there and him and paw about it when I was looking at it after Janelle walked by. And I actually pulled all the pieces out to make sure that it was all complete. Because if I was going to pay $25 for it, I wanted to make sure it was complete. Um, I, I, I really wanted to talk them down to 20, but I, I didn't. I, it's, what's five bucks? I chickened out. I'll be honest. It's I chickened okay. out. So, but I, I mean, even if we don't even double our money on this, it'll be, it'll be really cool. I'm going to have fun looking at this and, uh, you can list it. it. Yeah, you can list it. You can yeah. set it all up. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Fl Flintstones is one of my favorite cartoons. Last thing I got here was at the church rummage sale. I went to by myself on, um, Thursday or Friday. So I got a lot of 24 books, Secrets of Mary's Bookshop, um, the full collection, I guess, of 24. Can I ask you a question? Well, it might be a burning question for our viewers, too. Okay. Was that $4.75 for that box? Yes. Not I $5. $4.75. I mean, I... I I wrote that, and put, so I remember oh, how much oh, okay, I paid okay. for it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. But... Was that priced at four dollars and seventy five cents, no. or to add up to that? They added up. To oh, that. okay. Because I was gonna say, well, first I thought that that was their sticker. Yeah. And then the next thing I was gonna ask is, who's dealing with quarters at a garage sale, especially now with inflation? Like a quarter's nothing. Like just go five dollars. You I, know what I mean? Deal well, with dollars. I know. Nobody wants to hang on to quarters right. and deal with quarters at a garage sale. I think what it was is it was five bucks for a okay. dollar. Okay. So and I, so then I didn't have you know an even. I, I was curious. <laughs> that makes sense then. If yeah. It ended up. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. So this full set of 24 books of Secrets of Mary's Bookshop has gone between 88 and 100 and something dollars, this full set of books. Very nice, honey. Mm -hmm. Honey, you did an awesome job. This was an awesome haul. This was one of our better hauls. It's, mm -hmm. It really was. And we need it, too. I mean, I, like I said, I'm not, we're not going broke or anything, but we, we need it. We got to... We gotta up the sales here. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little slow. It's, well, it's been a while since we've had a decent haul like this, where where you're yeah. finding fifty dollar plus items. I mean, right. I mean, you guys have been watching our videos. The past few hauls she's had, it's been, you know, fifteen to fifty dollar items. But now, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here that's fifty to one hundred and fifty. So yeah. it's, that's gonna definitely balance it. And that's that's I guess, I mean, we don't even resell them for a few years. But I guess that's where it comes from. You just gotta keep pu pushing on. Even though you've had a string of bad garage sales or bad um, trips to the thrift stores, you just got to keep pushing on, and then you're going to nail that one haul that, that just makes up for all them times that you didn't really find a whole lot that was worth listing in that. So, yeah. so that's cool, and, I, and I'm sure we're going to dip back down into some more bad hauls. You know? yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this awesome haul. Um, it was a good one for once this time. I mean, other hauls were good too, but hopefully this one was a little more entertaining for you guys, a little more exciting. Uh, Janelle's going to get to listing this stuff tomorrow now that we finally recorded a video on it. Yes. And if you haven't had your fix, we got a video here and here for you to check out. And if you haven't already, give us a little thumbs up and a subscribe if you like some of the stuff we're putting out. Mm -hmm. And we'll try to get some more stuff out for you. Yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I got a barbecue party I got invited to, so I don't want to be late. Thanks for watching. Bye.